And I think if you really want to look at what the greatest gap is in our skills, it's that we're not very good listeners. We haven't been forced to listen very much in, in America. We've been so We've been so blessed with such easy access to so many of the things that we want for self-actualization, if you will, of, to use Maslow's term, that we, we haven't had to struggle too much. And, and when you struggle, you have to listen because you have to figure things out. You have to understand what, how to get what it is you want. What most of us sort of fall into the trap of doing is just hearing the words rather than hearing not only the words, but the intent the assumptions, the underlying worldview reflected in that. And when we listen only to words, and words can be inflammatory, words can be chosen incorrectly, we can be using words that are not the right words. And if we are held up to the standard of our, only our words, and that we have to listen, that understanding is based only on an understanding of what is vocalized, we miss 80% of the communication. We miss 80% of the opportunity to build trust. And, uh, and, and so I think that's where the greatest challenge lies for us, is in listening in that 80, other 80%.